to make some noise for the graduates. I thank you guys for having me today. And um, it's a little bit surreal being up here because my mother, she was actually a teacher at the same school, the late Laura Hunter, for seven years. And uh, someone else who was like a second mom to me by the name of uh, Robin Stuckey, she was also a person that was a safety officer right at that front desk for many years. And um, you know, it's surreal because I remember being a bad little boy running through those doors, she'd tell me, slow down all the time. So, uh, you know, I know that they would be proud of you guys too as well. And uh, today I had to kind of think about what I wanted to say to you guys, what would be the most impactful. And uh, in my industry, which is the music industry, customarily we give out things. So if it's concert tickets, clothing, things like that, uh, you know, people say if it's free, it's for me, right? That's what people say often. So, you know, I thought about that at first, but then I realized that material things tend to depreciate in value. And the most important thing is impact. And we want to do something that's impactful to you guys that will increase over time. So I figured the best thing is knowledge, right? Knowledge is power. So with that, we pass that down from generation to generation. So it's three things I want to leave with you guys today. And uh, we're kind of going to do this like a little concert, some crowd participation. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, we had to celebrate, right? Yeah. All right, so I want you guys to say these three things with me. First thing, say failure. Faith, Faith. Fruition. fruition. All right, now that was good, but I want a little bit more energy, like I'm about to give y'all $1.5 million, right? So let's do that again, let's get some more energy. Everybody say failure, failure. Faith. Faith, fruition. fruition. There we go, I like that. I'm gonna talk about myself real quick with failure. Um, in the beginning, I was always very competitive as a young boy. I hated to lose, I always wanted to win and I wanted to be the best at everything. You know, if it was chess, I had to beat you. If it was checkers, I had to beat you. By show of hands, how many people know how to play Uno? I would make all of y'all draw four and change the color, right? I just had to do it. So this particular summer, I got a letter in the mail for Cooper Union College. And if anybody's not familiar with Cooper Union, it's a prestigious college for people that are gifted in the arts. And I was so excited that I got this letter in the mail. And I said to my mom, I said, look, mom, I got this. But it was actually a transitional period. So what that meant is that in order to get accepted into the full program, I had to successfully complete the summer program first. So I remember that day, I took the E-train to the city, caught a transfer, but I was running late. So as I'm running late, I burst through the doors and Everybody there dressed in slacks, cardigans, they're well-spoken. And I didn't get the memo because I had on baggy jeans, shell top Adidas. I had on my Run DMC hoodie, my favorite Run DMC hoodie, and Tupac blasting out of my walkman. So everybody turns around, they look at me like the black sheep because they say, oh, you know, what's going on here? You know, you're not presentable like we expected. So what ended up happening was at the end of that program, I didn't get it. Because obviously they liked the talent, but they didn't like the packaging that I presented. So I remember that was a long ride home. I took the, the dollar cab from Suffolk all the way down to 125th, right up the block. I said to my mom, I said, I didn't get it. They didn't pick me. And she said something to me that, that was life changing. And you guys probably heard it before too, but I'm gonna have you guys repeat after me. And she said, I want you to repeat, say a setback, it's just a, setup just a setup for a comeback. For a comeback. And at the time, you know, I thought she'd just be an apparent. She's trying to be inspirational, motivational. I'm saying, Ma, you know, to be honest with you, I set myself up, you know. But with time, I realized that she was right. And that the reality is that a lot of times in life, sometimes you got to take a loss to get a win. So my message to you guys, which is the first portion, is don't be discouraged. In life, you'll have losses but those losses turn into wins. And we try to remix it, so we say there's no such thing as losses, we just call that experience, right? Experience in life to show you that you can't make it. A quote, and one of my favorite quotes from Michael Jordan, he said, I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games 26 times. 
I've been trusted to take the game-winning shot and missed. I failed over and over and over again in my life, and that is why I succeed. Succeeding through losses, which brings us to the next point. Everybody say faith. Faith is important. All right. Oh, y'all are good. It's like a concert for real. All right. Faith is critical. A lot of times in life, people will try to discourage you. They try to tell you what you can't do, but that's only because they haven't done it. Right? Somebody once told me, never take criticism from someone you wouldn't take advice from. Right? I know I'm talking to somebody in here. So you have to have that faith in yourself, that confidence, and I think you being here today at this graduation is a testament to your tenacity. Right? You all are brilliant, and you all are gonna do great things. So always believe in yourself. Never let anyone take you down. All right? Someone once told me too, I can see the future because I'm making it. Every day I get up, I know what I want. Every day you get up, you know what you want. You envision it, you go for your dreams. When I look at you guys, I just don't see graduates, I see doctors, I see lawyers, I see success, right? Having that faith. And the last thing everybody say, fruition. All right? The three Fs, it's interesting because I went to public school 223 right up the block. And uh, when I was in the fifth grade, we had a gentleman that come and he spoke to our class. And he said, you know, you're never too young to prepare for the future. And that stuck with me. And what he did was after that, he said, you know, I'm gonna leave three things with you guys because it's critical. Even though you're in the fifth grade, you're not gonna be in the fifth grade forever, right? So he said, I'm gonna prepare you for life. And what he did, he started to talk about different things that we were able to take with us and utilize through life. And those gems stuck with us for a long time. And actually, those things are similar to what I just gave you guys today. So I'm not gonna take up too much of your time, but in closing, I wanna say this to you guys. I want you to strive to be the best version of yourselves. I believe in you. Everyone in this room believes in you, your friends, your family. Now go out in the world, push through the failures, step out on faith, and bring it to the world.